buddies. Let's see how everyone's doing today. How are you doing today? I'm a little worn out from this morning. I know, we had a frantic morning, didn't we? Oh, there we go, there's our buddies. Good morning, friends. Hi, everybody. How are you? There we go, oh good, I'm so glad. We were rushing this morning, weren't we? Yeah, we, we got kind of lost track of time because you want to tell him? Yeah, um, guess what? I need my own breakfast all the way. It was the first time too. It was the first time. You had helped me before, huh, with cracking the eggs and things. Yeah, when we were like baking. But this was the first time that Alexa made her own breakfast all by herself. Yeah, I cracked the egg and I put it in a bowl and I added all the things and guess what? And then I scrambled it and I put it in a pan and I had all my breakfast all to myself. And, and then we got kind of caught up with the cleanup. And so we were rushing and we're kind of out of breath this morning because we wanted to make sure that the bed was made and everything was ready to go for this play date today. Hello, friends. I hope your morning was not nearly as hectic, but it was pretty exciting too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was an exciting good day. First time. Do you make your own breakfast? Oh, thank you. Look at that. You got a good job. Thank you. Oh, and I like the little egg on there. That's cute. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've been making my own breakfast, so I guess I do too, huh? Good job, Nani. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you guys make your own breakfast too? Are you learning how? Yeah, you, you kind of have to, like, you got to practice a little bit because, um, um, I wasn't my, like, my favorite. It wasn't your favorite? Well, it wasn't, like, as good, kind of. Oh, yeah, it does take some practice. No worries. How is everyone this morning? We're going to just kind of slow down. Yeah, we're going to take a little breather. And you guys got to let me know what you think. How was your week? Let's hear from you. Any good news? Anything interesting happening in your neck of the woods? How are you feeling, buddy? I know one of you was sick last week. I hope you're all better now. You doing well? Is it hot today where you are? Yeah, it's sunny out where we are, huh? Yeah, but yesterday it was cloudy, and then on Monday it was rainy, and I couldn't go outside and nothing. It was, uh, well, it was kind of wet, and I guess I could have gone outside, but I didn't, I didn't feel like it. Yeah, it was kind of gloomy, so. Oh, I'm glad you feel better. That's good news. Yay, we got a lot of good news. Oh, and the week has been perfect for you out in Germany. That's awesome. You'll have to teach us some German, huh? We don't really know a lot, except for, like... I know Wiener Schnitzel. Oh, I don't know about Wiener Schnitzel. That's not real German, is it? <laughs> All right. Good morning, friends. Welcome. Well, you know what? Since we're talking about other languages, why don't we sing that song about saying hello to people all around the world? The, the hello to the kids around the world? Yeah, do you remember how that one goes? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, you want to sing it? All right, here, why don't we get you a little closer. You can stand up right there. There you go. All right. <clears throat> how does it start? Hello, and then bonjour. Oh, yeah, oh, I remember now, right? Do you guys know this song? Hello, bonjour, buenos dias, good day, guten tag, konnichiwa. Oh, Mari, guten tag, I think that's German. Is that German? Is that how I say it? Did I say that right? I'm going to start over, okay? Because so I, cause I got too excited about the German. and Well, now we're going to start from the beginning. So here I go. Okay. Hello. Bonjour. Buenos dias. Good day. Guten tag. Konnichiwa. Ciao. Shalom. Dobli den. Hello to all the children of the world. We live in different places through all around the land. We speak in many different ways. Though some things might be different, we're children just the same. And we all like to sing and play. <gasps> Yay! 
Yay, I was right. Yay, it's good. Hello, Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Hi. Hello to all the children of the world. Oh, look, there's a second part. Ready? Here we go. Hello. Bonjour. Buenos dias. Good day. Guten Tag. Konnichiwa. Ciao. Shalom. Dobri den. Hello to all the children of the world. There are children in the desert and children in a town and children who live by the sea. If we could meet each other to run and sing and play, then what good friends we all could be. Right? Hello. Bonjour. Buenos dias. Good day. Guten Tag, Konnichiwa. Ciao, Shalom, Dobri Den. Hello to all my friends around the world. Hello, friends. Welcome to my room. We're going to have a play date today, and guess what? Today, I get to come over to your house. I'm going to show you how, okay? Oh, no. Is it glitchy? Oh no. Okay, well, we may have to start it over. Wait a second. Okay, let's try that one more time and see if that's working now. I hope we get some good news from our buddies and saying that that's working out pretty well. There we go. Testing, testing. Here we go. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you for sticking with us. I'm sorry about the tagging. The, 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 but I'm sorry, God bless. Stop. I'm glad you came back to play in my room, because I, I do have some good news. But guess what? You're going to get to make your own me, and you're gonna, and then I can come play with you. Mai's going to teach us how to do that. Right, Mai? That's right. Oh, good. It's better than Mai. I think we fixed it. Yay, good. Oh, that's such good news. Excellent. Great. Well, then why don't we jump into that, because... That kind of ate up into our time, didn't it? Yay! Oh, good, it is working. Okay, you want to go sit over here with all your art supplies? I already made one. I know you already made one. Did you want to make another one? Okay, but I'm going to color this one different because I already got one of that one. I know, you can do that. All righty. Good morning, my friends. Oh, thank you for sticking with us. Oops, sorry about that. There we go. I think we're all set now. Um... If you're one of my patrons, you already received your copy of the Alexa puppet that we're going to make today. It looks a little weird in pieces like this, doesn't it? Yeah. So you can download this after our show today. We're going to put it up on Maudie Puppet's website. And you'll be able to download your own um, copy of the puppet that we're making today. And she's going to stand up like this. You can leave her blank and just kind of glue her together. Or if you want, you can color her in and make her look like Alexa when she's dressed for her dinosaur club meeting. Hello from the Netherlands. Hello to the Netherlands, how are you? Welcome, welcome, hello from California. All right, well, we're gonna get started building this puppet here so I can show you how it's done. I did include a little picture of what it should look like and it's probably a little easier to see the actual finished product here, right? But we're gonna start by coloring it, I already colored this one in, so it's a little bit easier. And we're going to cut her out. Yeah, very cool. we got friends all around the world, don't we? That's so cool. Thank you for joining us. All right, so I'm going to start by cutting out this big square at the bottom. That's going to be the body. And I was thinking earlier that I should have made a couple more outfits, but then I had another idea. That is, this actually gives you an opportunity to get really creative and make your own costumes for her. Because once you cut this out, you're gonna have a little rectangle. And if you wanted to take the time to make different costumes, because you know how she likes to dress up, right? You can trace this onto another piece of paper, draw your own costume on it, and then you can dress her up that way. Cool, right? There we go. So we've got this cut out already. And you're gonna need a, t a roll of toilet paper, okay? Whenever your next one gets done, save it. Save it, don't throw it away. Don't let it go to the landfill because we can use it. We're gonna wrap it around it. If you don't have one, you can also use just this piece of paper, but it's not gonna be as sturdy. So maybe if you can print it on some cardstock or something, 
Or you could glue it onto maybe like a cardboard box, like a cereal box or something, right? Oh, we got new, our more buddies are joining us. Good morning. Good morning, Isaiah. How are you? Hello, hello from Oliver and June and Juniper. Uh, Gemma and Juniper, there we go. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm putting some glue, just a little line of glue right along the edge with my glue stick. And I'm gonna put it on the roll of toilet paper. Now you do have to kind of follow along, see if it lines up. And it lines up well enough. It's a little bit crooked, but we're not gonna look on the back anyway, huh? All right, and once you have that where you want it, you're gonna put some more glue on the actual roll itself. And then just a little overlap right on that edge. Just like that. And you can hold it there. Oh, that got even more crooked. There we go. And I like to count Mississippis just to make sure it stays on there. Because sometimes has it happened to you where you just kind of let it go and it just plop. Yeah. So we're going to go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten. And you're ready to go. All right. There it is. So we can put that aside now and it stands up all by itself. So now we can cut out these other pieces. Now I had a little bit of a hard time with the fingers. So I'm going to grab a pencil real quick and show you a little trick. So here's a little trick that I learned when I was a kid. When you're cutting something out, you don't have to stay inside the lines because you're going to be cutting around the outside of it. But when you have tiny little spaces like this to cut out and it gets really tricky, what you want to do is kind of give an outline all the way around the shape that you want. So you're not taking the time to cut each individual finger. You're going to cut out kind of like a fan shape. You're going to just kind of trace a shape there to help your cutting a little bit more. The arm part is okay. It's just the fingers that are tricky. So if it gets a little tricky for you, that's a little trick you can do. And now once you have that line on there, you can just follow and trace that line. Now make sure, I did include some tabs on here. Don't cut those off. Make sure those stay attached, okay? How are your scissoring skills? Are you pretty good at it? Are you getting better? Is it tricky to do? Try and, if you are having a hard time with it and your elbows are kind of coming up when you're cutting, try putting a, um, a book or a folder or something right here on your arm and pinning it down. That way your arm stays in the right position. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually turn your paper and not your hand, right? So your hand stays in the same spot. And you're gonna turn the paper while you cut. The scissors are just gonna be doing their work, their job right there. Okay, nice and slowly taking our time around those corners. And like I said, when we get to the fingers, you don't have to cut each individual one. You can just go all the way around it. And you'll end up with something like this. Now, if you're like, oh, I don't like how that looks. Now it's easier to go through and just do some tiny little snips and then make the room for the fingers individually. Much easier. All right. So we're going to save that one. There's one arm. Go back to my grown-up scissors here. There we go. You're done already. Oh, my goodness. That was fast. How in the world did you cut it out so quickly? Well done. Have you made a puppet of your own before? Yeah, in class one day, we, we made some marionettes out of toilet paper rolls too. We might have to try that another time, huh? Make sure I keep my tab on there. And there's our second arm. Put that over here. All right, Alexa, where's your shoes? You're not wearing shoes today. You wanna show them what kind of shoes you like? I don't know where your shoes are right now. We lost everything in the shuffle this morning, didn't we? All right, so now I'm cutting out her shoes and I just colored them in pink. What color are your shoes? Mine are black. You're done already, now what? Now you can put her in and have some adventures. Have you ever read the book Flat Stanley? This is kind of a little bit like a Flat Stanley. Can we see Alexa? Yes, definitely. We can see Alexa in just a minute. Let me finish my project. And you're going to see Alexa even in your own room. And then I'll grab the real Alexa for a second. How are you doing over there? Good. Okay.
There we go. And again, making sure we keep that tab and it says glue on there. Your shoes are blue, David. Nice. Do you run real fast? Do they light up? Good. All right, now I'm just gonna cut out her head and we'll be ready to glue it all together. That sounded weird, didn't it? I'm gonna cut out her head. Ooh. Maybe don't go around saying that. <laughs> yeah, puppeteers and puppet builders do end up having to say some very, very weird things sometimes when we're building puppets and when we're putting things together, but that's just part of the job. There we go. Okay, now Alexa is ready to get put together. We've got the roll here. We've got these right there. Oh, we got some buddies that have read Flat Stanley. Yes, Flat Stanley is a great book. Flat Stanley is about a little boy who ended up getting flat like a pancake. And so he mailed himself around the world and gets to travel to a bunch of different places. And you can do that with your own Alexa puppet and put her in different places around your room maybe or in your house and have her have all kinds of different fun adventures, even though she's kind of smaller now, huh? We shrunk her down. Alexa, did you hear that? We shrunk you. <laughs> all right. So now when we have these, we're going to fold the shoe ones down toward the shoe like that. And the ones for the arm are going to go behind the arm like that. And now we can glue it onto there. And it's up to you if you want to glue it directly on here. You can find a good spot for her arm. Or you can even put it on the inside of it. But then you'll have to put the glue on the side that doesn't say glue. So it might be easier. Since it already says glue, let's just follow that. How about that? Make it easier to remember. Put glue on the glue part. And then we'll stick her arm like that. Let's do the other arm. We're going to fold it backward behind her sleeve. Put a little glue on the glue part on the little tab. And put her arm in place. And you might have to move it around a little bit just to find a good spot. And then we're going to hold it down. And don't forget to count your Mississippi so it stays nice and firm. Okay. There we go. And now she can flap her arms a little bit. She can wave hello. You have tiger shoes? Oh my goodness, you took a tiger's shoes? How does your foot even fit in there? I'm just kidding, I know. You got tigers on your shoe, right? All right, uh-oh. So then we're gonna put our foot, our shoe on. We're gonna fold it down toward the top of the shoe. You see the part that says glue on there? We're gonna put glue on that little spot. And this one is gonna go on the inside of the tube. Now you see the, there's her pant legs, right? So we kinda just want it sticking out from one of those pant legs like that and hold it for a couple Mississippis. There we go. Do the other one. Put some glue on there. What are you counting, Isaiah? You're counting the Mississippis? Great. Oh, your shoes all have stripes on them, David. No wonder you call them tiger shoes. Yes. There you go. You earned your stripes on your shoes, huh? Last but not least, now that we have this little puppet doll, she needs a head. So we're gonna turn her body around. We're gonna put um, right on the back of her neck. We're gonna stick some glue right on the neck part, right in there. And then we gotta line it up so that it sits right on the collar of her shirt. And once again, let's count those together. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six. Mississippi 7, Mississippi 8, Mississippi 9, Mississippi 10. And you're done. Just like that, you're ready to play. Where should we put you? Come here, Alexa, you can play. That's weird. Yeah, you, most people don't have a puppet of themselves, do they? Let's check it out. Here, come here. Oh, yours is purple. Because I'm wearing purple today. Oh, you're going to match it with your outfit every day? No, he's going to have to make one every morning when I get dressed. All righty. Well, where do we want to put her first? Oh, let's, let's put her by the dinosaurs. Let's do it. All right. Come on, little puppet Alexa. We're going to put her over here by the dinosaurs. There we go. What kind of adventures do you think Alexa's going to have with the dinosaurs? Oh my goodness, is somebody bombing us with emojis? It's pushing up the chat too far, buddies. Don't forget. Oh, uh, you know why? I forgot to remind you how to be cyber smart. 
To be cyber smart, you don't give your information and you don't put your address or your last name and you don't put emoji bombs because guess what? It makes the chat go whoop and then I miss it and I can't say hi to my buddies and that's not fair, right? We got to be nice to everybody and let people chat. So let's, let's, what does it say? Chill it with emojis. Cool it with emojis. And just a couple is fine, right? Right, hi, puppet. But not like a lot, because then it goes, whoop. And I miss it, and I don't get to say hello. Hi, David. How are you? Are you kind of sad that school's almost over? I am. Especially because I don't get to do last day of school stuff with my friends. Right? Hi, Isaiah! Are you sad too? That school's almost over? But are you kind of glad that, like, summer's coming? I am! Yeah. Yeah, me too. But wait, guess what? We're still gonna do play dates this summer so we can still see our, our friends here, right? And if I'm playing at your room with like a little, my little mini version of me, where, where'd the little other one go? Oh, th this one. Right? And you can put it all over and then guess what? You can take her picture and send me it. Okay, and then we can even write a story of what she did and her adventures. Summer's my favorite too! Yeah! I love it because we can wear flip flops and eat ice cream. You do that all the time anyway. Oh yeah. Well anyway, but then it's more comfortable, right? Ah, oh, David's a T-Rex, he said. Roar! Hey David, guess what? We're gonna do a, um, a, a dinosaur club meeting on um two weeks. In two weeks, uh, and we're gonna have a di another dinosaur club meeting. And so next week we're gonna vote which dinosaur is gonna be the dinosaur of the month because M May was for the Megalosaurus, and we're done for with May almost. What? Uh, are you allergic to bees? Is that what makes you not like summer? Ah. Yeah, and you didn't know school's almost over, Isaiah? It is. It's almost over. Yeah. Oh, David thinks we should have a T-Rex for our next meeting. Also, guess what? Um, my set up um, a thing so you can sign up and I can send you a postcard of our dinosaur club. It's online and she'll put it on, can you put it on the bio for after? Yes, after our show today, we can go ahead and go into a link in our bio and you'll be able to download today's activity and also have a link to sign up for Alexa's Dinosaur Club so you can get postcards and a bunch of other back uh, behind the scenes stuff. All right. Oh, you have a phobia. Oh, okay, well that's good you're not allergic to them, to your bees. Guess what? I talked to my friend this weekend. Which one? my friend Rachel, and she actually has a swarm of bees living right outside her window. And so she can't open that window anymore. And she's like worried that they're gonna kind of find a way in somehow. And so she's gonna end up having to call somebody. I don't even know whose job would it be to be um, to come and check that out, to get rid of the bees. Well, we don't wanna really get rid of them, do we? No, I like bees, but they're really good for earth, but um, they can sometimes hurt when they sting you, but it's not the, it's not that bad like it is, but then it's not, you know, unless you're allergic, then it's really bad. Have you got stung by a bee, Molly? I have. One time I was jumping on the sprinklers and I landed right on a bee, so I got stung on the bottom of my foot. Ah. Oh. I know. Yeah, it hurt for that, for a couple of hours that day, it got a little swollen and then it was fine. That's it? No, one time I was rolling down a hill and I was rolling down a hill with my cousins and I got one right on my chest that stung me right underneath my collarbone. Ow! 
Mm-hmm, that one got swollen too. And that one was mostly scary because when I rolled over, I saw it and we made eye contact. I was like, ah, oh, get off of me, bee. Have you guys gotten stung by bees? Uh, maybe a beekeeper can put, like, can come and put them in his hive, right? Rachel, if you're watching, call a beekeeper and tell him you have free bees for him and they'll can make him honey, right? Ooh, you got stung twice while swimming. Oh, my goodness. How come there's always a bee by the pool? Well, they need water, too. I think they might just be searching for some water, huh? Two times on the arm and one on the ear. Oh my goodness, David, you've gotten stung. How, how close together was that? I hope that wasn't the same day. That would be very painful. <gasps> Azai has been stung by a wasp and a bee. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you got stung on the head. Where on your head? Oy. Yeah, owie, owie. Usually, if we just kind of stay away from bees, they're, they're nice to us, they're not gonna chase us, right? I got stung on my elbow, right, Mike? I got stung right there, and I got real big and swolly. And my friend was like, what happened to your elbow? And I was like, I got stung by a bee. But what? You got stung by wasps? Ah, oh, on your head? Oh, my goodness. That, got, that must have been really terrible. No wonder you're scared. But you should take a deep breath. <sighs> And remind yourself how brave you are, because you're pretty brave. You already survived it, right? Yeah. And then, even though it wasn't very nice, you you know you can you can live through it. You got stung on the back. Uh, ow! Then you couldn't lay down on your back when you go to sleep, right? You had to lay on your belly or on your side. Has your brother been stung by a bee before? Cause he's the one that's scared, huh? Wait a minute, if he saw that you were okay after, right? And I bet your mommy got you something really nice after cause you were so brave. Like she put band-aid on her. My put ice on my elbow and then I got to eat a, a otter pop. Yeah. Yeah, some stuff is not very good about summer, but a lot of stuff is very, very good about summer. Oh my goodness, all this talk about bees. But I do, I do still like them. Have you ever been bit by a dog? I haven't, but I hear mom, some of my friends they got bit by a dog and they're, now they're scared. But I, I love dogs, but I, well, you also gotta be nice to them and don't go up to stranger dogs if you don't know them, right? Bees, that's right. Today's word of the day is bees. Oh, do we know a song about bees? I'm bringing all my baby bumblebee. Do you know that song? Yeah, it's a silly song. But guess what? Right now it's time to sing our so long song again. Already. Oh. I know. Can you take my puppet Alexa me on an adventure and send me pictures? Yeah? I want to see what we do together, okay? Because I can't for reals come over, but I can pretend come over and we can have fun. Huh? <gasps> you can play the baby bumblebee song on the violin? That's awesome! Oh, very good. I bet you had to practice a lot. Yeah? Congratulations on learning that. That's very cool. And then I can sing it while you play. You, you play play the violin. Mew, mew, mew. I'm bringing on my baby bumblebee. Right? Yay! 
We can start a band. Maybe. I got too many ideas, I think. All right, buddies. Well, it's time to say our Bye Bye Buddies song for today. What? I know. I know. Our time always flies. And then that, that little technical difficulty kind of bit into our time today. And I'm sorry. But we do got to get going. All right. So I'll do the tapping on the foot on the table, but you guys can do some clapping at home. Okay. You ready? Wait, wait, wait. She said that she's going to send me a video of her when she's playing the violin. Oh, awesome. Yes, please. That would be so good. And I can sing along with your video. Yay. Thank you. I, I'm good. I can't wait to hear you play. Yay, thank you. Okay, okay, I think I'm ready now. All right, let's have a seat right there. Bye, bye, buddies. It's time to say so long. But before we go away, see if you can sing along. Take it away. We'll start off slow. You made my day. Thank you for coming. Let's speed it up, but just a bit. It's time to go. Don't throw a fit. Let's go real fast, fast as we can. See you next time, cause that's the end. Bye friends. Thank you for coming to my room and playing with us all the way from Germany and, oh, and the Netherlands. Oh, Mari, I have an idea. Yes, you always have ideas. What's your next idea? What if we got a map and um, put on the wall and then when we have a friend from there we can put um like a dot on the map and see where all our friends are around the world and we can keep track of like where they are and we can make new friends all the time, right? What do you think? You want me to put a dot for your house? Yeah, and then I can be like see it on my wall and, and remember my friends around the world. And when you see it, you can say that those are your friends too, because guess what? Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. You know that song? <gasps> From Egypt? Oh, welcome! Thank you so much! I'm going to put that on the wall for Egypt, okay? Yay! I can't wait! I can't wait! I gotta go find the map! Okay, I'm gonna go get to work on that, okay, you guys? I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, Alexa. Hi, Miss Marty. Um, I'm gonna play and uh, bringing home the baby bumblebee. I hope you guys don't mind if I don't sing along because I only know the baby bumblebee parts. Sorry. <laughs>